A neighborhood often has a convenient gathering place that is centrally located and easily accessible. This place is a bastion of old-fashioned ideals in a world of instant gratification, where friends can meet, eat, and enjoy the chance to dissect the world's problems and develop individual character through discourse with peers. Hey Ruby, smile, you're on a candid camera. Hey darling. What's up, baby? I've got a class project for school. What is it? Well, we've got dancing girls coming in later, and I'm going to film them. You want to show us how to earn ten dollars? I don't want to dance, man. I don't want to dance. I mean, dance. Thank you, dear. Can we bring anything? Thank you. Yeah, come on. Thank you. Yesterday. Well, that's. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. We uh, we have a long-standing relationship, and we've been friends for a long time now. It's almost too long to even count up all the years. <laughs> but I can remember a time when you disparagingly spoke of my lack of interest and involvement in politics. And uh, I can remember a time when you uh, claimed not to have a whole lot of desire to ever serve in a public office because of your public exposure in the past and so forth. And now here you are getting ready to run for public office and here I am because of your involvement getting ready to be involved with voting and I just wanted to see if we could track down some of the reasons it's, for it, change. I expect to get elected. I'm running hard to get elected. I want to be elected but for me it's not about it's not about power and power, power is knowledge uh, and I pledge that once I get in all the information I can get is going to be public so we'll, we'll all have knowledge. It's about running government the right way and doing the right thing. Well, I um, have, of course, have the utmost confidence in your integrity, which is why I'm willing to vote for you. Thank you. Um, I hope that uh, your example can inspire others to uh, act honestly and transparently, I guess is a good word for it. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, I think it is all about honesty and integrity and doing the right thing. And um, I just, you know, if you walk around the city county building and if you have any knowledge of the workings of government and, and you know the players and a lot of people don't but you know you see a lot of this back you see a lot of this whispering and a lot of this going on it's almost like you're in junior high school again and my campaign is based on this is what this is who I am this is what I want to do you know, I'm not saying anything bad about my opponents because I don't know my opponents very well and you know it's it's, it's about a set of ideas and if people accept my ideas and accept me, then they're going to go to the polls and they're going to vote for me and I'll run the clerk's office. And if I do a good job and decide to run for re-election, you know what, they'll vote for me again. But this notion that you can't support who you want to support because you're a government employee or you can't be politically active on your own time, and I've had people come to me from the clerk's office and say, we want to help, and I said, that's great, you can help me on your own time. But I'm not accepting a dime, and that's hurting my campaign because I've had a lot of them want, want to donate to my campaign, but I said, I don't want your money. Because let's say I get in, Mr. X, and you work at the clerk's office, and after six months you're doing a great job and I want to promote you. Well, if you've given me $100, $150, it's going to look suspect. And we're not going to do anything that's going to smack of, well, he didn't do the right thing. And I think that's why people are fed up with politics from here all the way down to here. Go five ton! <laughs> Woo! Ain't that right, Luong? That's right, dog. <laughs> yep.